Who would think that this mini trampoline would be so interesting to all these cats? Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It's 8.30 a.m. and Splash is still in bed. That's where he slept all night. And here's Boo and Stella and Simba. And this is where Boo slept all night. He just got out of bed a few minutes ago. Hello, Simba. Hello, Stella. Good morning. I'm gonna open the door so you can look out. Move over, move over. Oh, I can't open the door because the rug's in the way. Okay, I opened the back door so the cats could look out and they're not ready to come up yet or I'm not ready for them to come up yet. You guys gotta wait, you gotta wait. Good morning, Nancy, but you gotta wait, okay? All right, I'll see you in a little bit. I'll see you in a little bit. It's 9.15 and the cats and I are having some playtime and I don't know why I did not think of this sooner. Look at what I just did. I put a pom-pom on the end of the wand toy. I just like stuck the clip through the pom-pom and Simba, well first Boo went crazy over it and then Simba attacked him because Simba's like, no, this is mine. And then Simba has just been going, going nuts over it. And I'm using the one that does not have the clear fishing line because Simba cannot, um, he can't bite through this one. Oh, look at this, even Stella wants to play with it. Simba, come on. It is 9.30. And downstairs with all the kittens. Well, they're really cats now. They're a year old. And we're going to celebrate today as their birthday. Today is the first day of spring. And it's March and it's March 21st. And it's the equinox. And I don't know exactly when these cats were born. It was estimated that they were born this month. So I figure... Today is as good a day as any to celebrate them. Right, Nancy? Right, Richard? So happy birthday, everybody. Happy first birthday, everybody. So we're going to start our day with these uh, cat treats. These are Blue Wilderness Tasty Chicken Flavor Crunchy Cat Treats. This is a 12-ounce container, and... Before Christmas, they had these at TJ Maxx. They were $4.99. So that was a wonderful price for these. Um, although I don't think I would buy them now because the cats are on low carb and these are a bit higher in the carbs. But anyway, uh, the kittens are going to start with a few of these. They're going to eat them out of my hand. We're still doing the feeding training. And then they're going to have their breakfast. And then, I don't know, maybe I'll go get them some rotisserie chicken or actually yesterday um, I was in Trader Joe's and I bought a turkey breast so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roast them a turkey breast and I'll give them some roasted turkey breast today and maybe I'll give them some new toys I have some toys that I bought them for Christmas that I never gave to them maybe they'll have their Christmas toys now for their birthday and yeah I mean, I don't know if I'm going to make them a cake or not, but usually with the cats, I don't just celebrate their birthday on one day. I usually kind of make it a celebration over several days, sometimes even a full week. So, um, yeah, so I'll, I'll figure out what I'm going to do for them. Maybe I will make them a cake. I don't know. It's, it's a busy, busy week this week. Um, so we'll see what, we'll see what we could do. So all the cats have been getting their treats and I, it's hard for me to film it because it really requires two hands. There's Ringo. Ringo really has not gotten any treats. There we go. 
There we go. Come on, here. There we go. Ringo, you want some? Come on, Ringo. Ringo. So, those three, Ringo, Ziggy, and little Eva, are the more passive cats. Like, they're not as aggressive as the other four are. Like, the ones that are right near me. Look at Goldie. Look at Goldie. She's right near me. Look, I even got to touch her. I got to pet her a little bit. Um, so, yeah, this is really hard to do with a camera in my hand. Here you go, Ringo. Because... Um, they're, they try to get into this. They try to get into this. So like while I'm trying to feed a treat to somebody, the other ones are trying to get into this. So that's why it requires two hands really. One to keep them away, and then the other to kind of uh, feed the treats. There you go, guys. Even if I um, throw some at uh, Ziggy and Little Eva, they don't eat them. They just let, they let everyone else have them. And then I try to do it to distract them away from Ringo, because then Ringo will eat something out of my hand. Come on, Ringo. You could do it. Come on. There you go. Good job. Good job, everybody. Okay, you had enough treats. You had enough treats. Don't eat my finger. Don't eat my finger. So this morning, we have a new word for Nancy, and her word is behave. So I think that's going to be her word for a while. This is what they're getting for breakfast today. They're getting homemade raw food with some canned food in the middle. Then I took a squeeze up and I wrote happy birthday on it with the squeeze up. There's a little heart in the middle. And the same thing on this platter. And I'm going to now top it with just a little bit of crunchies. And here's the platter with some crunchies. I just gave them their food. There's five on that platter and two on this platter, but they're all eating, which is phenomenal. Well, now little Eva's going to walk away. Because um, usually Richard and Nancy, oh, she's going to come over to this platter. All right, you eat on this platter, little Eva. Where are you going? You want a pet? Let me give you a pet. What you doing? No, she don't want a pet. Um, I know she likes the food because she's been eating it, but what I was saying is even Richard and Nancy are eating right away, which is good because sometimes they wait. So now I'm going to go back upstairs, see how the other cats are doing with their breakfast and kind of juggle these cats this morning. What's going on up here? Look at this. They ate all of their food. Okay, guys. So I'll open up like a can of Fancy Feast Naturals for you. Okay. They ate all all of their food so i'm gonna put a few more cans of food on their plates and then they'll be done maybe because they didn't really like their dinner last night although when i came down here the plates were empty so they eventually ate their dinner from last night it's 7 15 p.m i did not have enough time to roast turkey breast today so i am going to make the kittens a charcuterie board for cats i have this large platter this is from the dollar tree and I'm going to load it up with a whole bunch of yummy food for cats. So this is what's going on with the charcuterie board. We have a can of Friskies that was cut into eight pieces and that's like around the edges. And we also have some Shebas which have been cut in a half and those are also around the edges. I believe those are beef Shebas. And then we have some Fancy Feast which have been cut into quarters and those are around the inside. We have some dried sardines sprinkled around. We have some crunchies. We have some freeze-dried bites. Um, we have some temptations. And we have some meaty sticks that I cut into quarters and stuck in the friskies. They almost look like little birthday cake pieces. And then we also have some squeeze-ups. So there's some squeeze-ups in the middle. And then there's squeeze-up around the entire edge. I think it looks really festive as far as a cat platter goes. Um, here at the cat platter. And here are the kittens. Happy birthday, everybody. You're a year old. You're a year old. I don't know exactly when you were born, but we're going to celebrate today. Maybe tomorrow and the next day. Okay, guys? Happy birthday, Ringo. Happy birthday, Richard. Happy birthday, Eva. Happy birthday, Ziggy. Who did I miss? Happy birthday, Sammy. Happy birthday, Goldie. Did I get everybody? 
Happy birthday, Nancy. Okay, who's ready to eat? Who's going to eat some food? You're hungry? You're hungry? Who's hungry? Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're going to eat. Ready? Ready to eat? A lot of purring going on right now. Okay, ready guys? Come on. Move over. Let me put this on the floor. Let me put this on the floor. All right, there's six cats eating. Who are we missing? We're missing little Eva. I wonder why she's not eating. Ziggy walked away. Maybe she doesn't like the food. Maybe she's going to wait for the second shift. Oh, someone's growling, which means they really like the food. Ideally, the platter would have been a bit bigger, but this was the largest platter that they had. Yeah, someone's growling. Maybe it's Goldie. She pulled the food off the platter. Usually they pull the food off when they really like it. There's a little Eva. I don't know why she's not eating. Maybe because I'm sitting here. Maybe she's just not hungry. I don't know. I hope she's okay. So Richard finished his food. He walked away from the platter. And Ziggy and little Eva have not started eating yet. They might be waiting for everyone else to finish. So Nancy just walked away and Richard went back. So Sammy, Ringo, and Goldie have really been enjoying it more than anyone. They're, the three of them are just totally chowing down. Goldie walked away. She said she's done. It'll be interesting to see what they leave on the platter, if anything. Like I'm seeing chunks of canned food and I'm wondering which canned food that was. Like, was that the Sheba's? Also with this platter, you can really see how much bigger the kittens have gotten in the past three months because this platter is almost the same exact size as the big Christmas platter that I had for them. Like when I put this next to the Christmas platter, the Christmas platter is only like an inch or two longer on the two ends because it's not a circle, it's like oblong. Um, and the width is pretty much the same. And all seven of them easily ate off of that Christmas platter. And then today, like seven off of this platter would have been tight. They could have done it. It would have been tight, but it just goes to show you they've gotten a lot bigger in the last three months. Like they've continued to grow. Okay, let's look at what's going on here. So yeah, it is the Shebas that were around the outside that are still in the platter and the crunchies 
um, pretty much everything else is gone. Here's Ziggy. Ziggy's going to check stuff out. I think um, the chunks of canned food that are not Sheba's are the Fancy Feast. I had some Fancy Feast in the middle. So I told you. So Ziggy wanted to wait until everyone else was done. Okay, so now I have a good idea. The upstairs cats are not too crazy about the Shebas either. They used to love them, but now that I've been buying them and letting them eat them more often, they don't really like them that much. So I'm going to go upstairs, see what the other cats are up to. I have not eaten anything yet. I'd like to eat something. Then I'll come down in a little while and we'll see what's going on with this platter, if I need to put some more food on it, and then we'll have some playtime. It is 8.15 and look at what's going on here. The platter is practically empty except for those two bits of food. And little Eva was hanging by the door upstairs. And I'm going to put some more food on the platter now. And they could eat that if they want to. If not, they could eat it later. So there's little Eva. She has the platter to herself right now. I put two cans of food on it. One is the Friskies poultry platter. Then the other one is the Nature's Promise. It's 9 p.m. and here's Sammy. She's laying in the chair that's down here and she loves laying here but I don't know I'd like to put some kind of either blanket or cat bed there for her to lay in instead of just on the chair even though that is a very comfortable cushion. And here's Richard. He's in one of the cat beds. And there's little Eva. She's in another cat bed. She loves these cat beds. And here's Ringo. Ringo loves this cat tower. Every night he goes up on this cat tower. And there's Goldie. She's in the cat tower. I just gave Sammy a princess blanket. This is one of Stella's quilts. Maybe Sammy will like to lay on it. 9 p.m. And the cats are getting a birthday treat. So these are some freeze-dried chicken breasts. Uh, these are some pure bites. I know I have the freeze-dried chicken breasts, the large tub of Stewart's freeze-dried chicken breasts, but um, I bought these today to put on their platter, but I ended up not putting them on the platter because I thought they'd like them as a snack. Look at this, Sammy's trying to get in the back. Okay, guys, I'll give you some, Sammy. So they've been eating these treats out of my hand, and it's been um, Ziggy and Ringo. Here's Ziggy. There you go. Okay, Ringo, I'll give you another one. Ringo wants another one. I'm trying to find the nice size pieces. Here you go. Take it. Sometimes they have a hard time taking it in their mouth. Hey, Richard. Richard. Oh, here's Goldie. You want a Goldie? You don't like them? Who wants it? Ziggy, you want another one? So, these are the toys that the cats are getting today for their birthday. And yes, I know these are Christmas toys. I bought them for the cats for Christmas and then I didn't have a chance to give it to them. So they're going to get these today. And there's actually eight toys in this package. There's all different kinds of toys. So there's one extra, but I'm going to give them all eight. And I like the fact that it was a variety. So there was like, you know, there's some with some ribbons and this one has like a tail and then this one's like a ball and there's another ball and this one, um, and there's some catnip ones. So, um, you know, depending on what the cat's like, they could kind of choose their own toys. But I have to get a scissor and cut these off. Okay, here's the trampoline. And there's all the toys. All the toys are on the trampoline. Nancy grabbed one. She got the ball. Some of them are crinkly. Some of them have bells. Who wants a toy? Richard's here. Richard, are you going to pick a toy? Pick a toy. No, you don't want them on there? Nancy says more for her. Oh, now she wants the star with the with the paper ribbons. 
Oh, there goes Sammy. Sammy wants the bowl. So, Ringo, Ringo usually likes pom-poms, so I'm going to give him this one. They all ran after it. Okay, who wants this one? I threw one over there. Who wants this? Ring, Richard, which one do you want? You want this one? You want that one? You want the crinkly Santa? You want a crinkly Santa? Eva! Eva, you want a snowman? Who wants this star? Who wants the star? Mm, Sammy says she wants that one. They're like, what is this stuff? They'll have fun with the toys overnight. It'll give them something to do tonight. Here's Ringo. He's looking. He said, what's going on over here? Ringo, you want this one? You want the crinkle Santa? You want a crinkle Santa? There's freeze dried there's some freeze dried treats on the platter as well as some cat food. So if they're still hungry they could eat what's on the on the platter. I have all seven cats around. They all gather around. You guys don't want the toy? There's toys around. I threw the toys all around. Sammy wants the carrot underneath the... <laughs> Look at these three. I'm entertaining all seven cats. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, and there's Ziggy on the table. Oh, here's Ringo. Look at this. Look at Ringo. All the cats. All seven. Look at little Eva. Little Eva's like, Ringo, get out of my way. I gotta see what's going on. Who would think that this mini trampoline would be so interesting to all these cats? Some are looking underneath. They're watching it underneath. Others are watching from above. Oh, Ziggy got it. And Ziggy grabbed it. Oh, Ringo's going underneath. Big Goldie. Eve is getting on top. <laughs> it's like Sammy and Nancy are in a boxing ring. <laughs>
Everyone be nice to each other. Your family. Be nice. Be nice to each other. Your family. watching this Lucky Farrells video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.